In this video, we're going to set up an isosceles triangle. So the first thing I would do is create a segment, AB, and it could be any arbitrary segment. And then I would use my circle tool to create a circle with a center at one of the endpoints. And a fun thing you could do here if you're modeling this with your students is to somehow mark the midpoint in a way that helps them realize that this circle has to go past the midpoint. Right, so if you, if you mark, let's say, C as the midpoint, I'm trying to think of ways to use that idea to ask, well, why is it true that this circle, right, when you create a circle, it has to go past the midpoint, right? But it can't be equal at the midpoint, it has to go past it. What's happening there? What about um, triangle inequalities tell you this, that this makes sense, right? How can we do that? Um, but anyway, that's something we'll work on later. So how do we create an isosceles triangle? Well, we go past the halfway point and click on the segment. I'm using point D. And then I would just quickly use my compass tool right, to copy that circle. So you click the compass tool, click the circle, and then click the, cent the new center of this circle on B. So essentially what you've done is now you've created two circles um, from each endpoint with an equal radius because they're equal circles. So if I draw a segment that goes from these endpoints to the intersection, that's like drawing two segments that are a radius of each circle. And the circles are equal. So you get two equal radius radii. You get two equal lines, let's say, because they're both the radius of, their, of equal circles. So what I would do to finish is just click my intersect tool over the point where they meet, and then click the line segment tool to connect AE and BE. Now this is an isosceles triangle, but you might not want to show all this with your students. So then what I would do is click my polygon tool and just click in counterclockwise order, right, the vertices of your isosceles triangle. Now to neaten this up, you might want to hide the circles. So you go to your object properties, control or command E, click circle under basic, right, oh, or you just click these dots right here, I'm sorry. Click these two dots to hide the two circles. And now I don't want points C and D either. It's not important for me. Um, I do want points A, B, and E. Uh, I don't want lines A, B, and E. A1, B1, and E1 are the line segments of the polygon, so I want to keep those. So now I have my isosceles triangle. I can move it around. I can resize it. I would use my angle tool here to click inside and quickly get the interior angles to see that um, you do have an isosceles triangle showing that these two angles here are in fact equal and the third is not. So that does work uh, and you have an isosceles triangle that you can work with. Alright, hope that helps.